Welcome dear to my channel. Today I'll be showing you the new and easy way that has been that, that has been implemented inside CSS. Previously we used to use the CSS transform transform property, but now it has been split into independent RST in that alphabetical order. They are the rotate scale and translate properties. They are now working independently. But look, guys, as you know, my channel is all about educating so that you become a better web developer. But before you do that, always make sure that these changes are applying only well inside your browser both some browsers are not yet compatible with the new changes like in this case if you are using a live server that is internally found inside the visual studio code the changes won't apply or correctly so make sure that you're on on google chrome so that you can practice correctly these changes so for example i've got a i've got a div that i've created which which has got a class name container and the css container i've done it i've pushed it so now previously would use transform the transform property let's say i would yield i will push to scale inside the brackets i'll say 50 percent i reduce that one by 50 percent and this is how it would reduce if you want to put it let's say to example to make it bigger by 300 percent then this is how you do it now also let's look at the rotate i would rotate it normally let's say if i want to rotate it 45 degrees this is what i would do and now you can see the this is a normal rotation or you can you can come and let's save the translate property translate let's push it for 50 let's push it let's push everything let's push everything 100 pixels to the right and i want to put 100 pixels down there you can see the changes have been applied now but now there's a new way of doing everything. We can we can now work in we now remove the transform and, and work independently using the rotate scale and and translate property. Now, for example, let me show you an example that we have here. I would have the scale. No need for brackets. Let's reduce it by 50%. There you can see. Oh, or let's increase it by 200%. Oh, there you can see now let's also push for the rotate no more rotation put five degrees there you can see I've rotated put five degrees but now you can also have a rotation of X degrees to the, in the x-axis there you can now see you can also push for the y-axis yes there you see now we can also use the for three dimensional view. You can use Z, which will usually push it to the normal translation, which is this one. They they find it. Now we can also let's also continue style. Let's also do the the new translate property. Using the new translate property, I want to push it two hundred pixels to the right. Then you can see I push it to pick up 100 pixels or it might be like so that you are not able to see if I reduce this one to let's say 100 so that it becomes visible on the screen. Yes, I push it 100 pixels along the x-axis then 100 pixels down. Oh, there you can see. So everything has now been simplified inside using no more need for the closing, no more need for the transform property. Thank you.